my name is Kat, and you are watching my first In My Mailbox video for I Write, I Read, I Review. The date is December 31st, 2011, and this video will officially be going up on January 1st, 2012. And thank you for tuning in. I've got lots of books to show because I did not do an In My Mailbox last week, because I didn't think we are actually supposed to. So let's get going on this. The first thing I have to show you guys is a copy of Miss World by Randy Black. I got this for review as part of the tour that's being hosted by Paranormal Wastelands. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really looking forward to it. I'd also like to say a thank you to Aisha from Wordsplunking and to Andrea from the Busy Bibliophile. They both sent me books for Christmas. Thank you so much. I got Destined and I got the Vincent Boys. I'm very excited to read them both. Those are from my Kindle. Also last week when I went out, I picked up a copy of Entice by Carrie Jones. I just finished reading and reviewing Need, and I did pick up Captivate at Chapters on Boxing Day, and I'll show you that to you later. But I got this too, and I'm really excited to read it. Really enjoying this series, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Also from Zellers, when, or no, from Zellers actually, when I went to, for Boxing Day, I got this book, which this is not fiction, this is non-fiction. It's called Everything I Know About Love I Learned From Romance Novels. I couldn't resist getting it. I don't know exactly what it's really about. I don't know whether it's just sort of a tongue-in-cheek thing or whether it's supposed to be taken seriously, but with a title like that, how could I not get it? I read romance, I write romance, I rate books and hearts. What do you want from me? I had to get this. It was 25% off. Next thing I got at Zeller's is a book called Ghost Girl Love Sick. It's by an author named Tanya Hurley. I've never read anything by this author, but this book is so pretty. I just simply couldn't resist since it was on sale and everything. I had to get it. I also think the way it's done inside is really cool. I think that the detail and everything is really neat. So I'm going to be really excited to check that out. It looks really interesting. My last Zeller's purchase was actually a really, really good deal. I've heard a lot of good things about Lisa McMahon. And I got the entire Wake trilogy. I paid $20 for this. I haven't even owned it yet because I'm so busy. But I do have it. I will be reading it. And I will be reviewing it. So if anyone knows anything about this, please let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Thank you. And now for what you guys are probably really excited about, which is my big chapter shopping trip. I got money from my Aunt Brenda and from my brother Sean. And they paid for the majority of these books. So thanks to both of you. And I got Shatter Me. By Tahura Mafi. I hope I pronounced that right. My apologies if I didn't. I've heard so many wonderful things about this book and I definitely want to check it out. Very excited for this one. Cannot wait. I got Captivate. As I told you guys, I wanted to get all of these and have them up to date, and now I do. I'm very happy about that. So I'll be reading this in the near future, probably not right away. I try not to read series back to back, but I'll get to it eventually, I'm sure, and I'm very excited about it. Next book I get to show you guys is The Dead Tossed Waves by Carrie Ryan. As some of you probably know, oh, I've got a receipt in here, take that out. I reviewed The Forest of Hands and Teeth, I think it was a week ago, and I didn't give it a huge review. I gave it three stars. I liked it. I wanted to read more of it. Definitely a unique writing style and a unique perspective of how close you get to be to the characters, and I wonder whether she'll continue with that type of writing in this. So I had to get it. Very interested. Can't wait. And while we're still on that topic, I also got... The Dark and Hollow Places, also by Carrie Ryan, which is the most current book in this 
I don't know if this is a series or what you'd call this exactly because it's more generational. But yeah, I can't wait to check this out. Very excited. So I'm going to look forward to that. Next thing you'll be seeing on my site as a review is Legend by Mary Lou. I can tell you right now, if you have not read this, run, don't walk, get to your nearest bookstore or get to Amazon or however you like to get your books, get your hands on this. This is awesome. This is really, really good. And I highly recommend it. A lot of you had some chuckles at the fact that I bought Clockwork Prince and didn't have Clockwork Angel yet, and I wanted to make certain that I got it. This was actually my most challenging book to pick up at Chapters. It took three assistants to help me get this. They actually had her books in two different sections, and then they actually had to go into the back to get this. I'll never understand why they do that with series. They really should try and make sure the initial book is easy to access because that's how you get people to buy the future books. That's just my opinion though. And I have it now, so I guess I can quit whining. Not to be outdone, I got The Probability of Miracles, which is a contemporary, which seems to have a slight twist. I can't wait to see just how the um, things going on in this town integrate into a contemporary novel. I'm very curious about this one. Somewhat nervous. I'm always nervous when someone's sick in a book. I don't like sad endings. But we'll see how it goes, and I'll just have to tell you what I think when I review it. I couldn't resist getting it, though. It looks really interesting, and I definitely wanted to check it out. <coughs> From my Christmas list, I got Sweetly by Jackson Pierce. I really liked Sisters Red. I've wanted to get this for a while, but I've been kind of holding off because I try not to read things too closely together by authors. I try to make sure everybody gets a shot at getting reviewed and everything. So I have this now. I will be reading it. I can't wait. I love the fact that she chooses fairy tales that don't often get retold. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is a retelling of Hansel and Gretel. I can't wait to see what she'll do with it, how she'll put her skin on it, because Sisters Red was absolutely fabulous. So, yes, cannot wait, cannot wait. Absolutely excited about that one. And I'm just checking to make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope, down to my last one, which I've saved. It's probably the most shocking for last. I cannot believe I have this. Chapters has Cinder, Cinder rather, blah, at their store. I couldn't believe this. I was like, really? Because I thought this wasn't supposed to release until January 3rd, but a lot of things seem to have different dates than what I've been hearing. Anyway, no matter, I'm holding off on reading it until the new year anyway, because I want to use it for the debut author challenge, and I want to make sure it gets credited for that. So I'm very excited about this. I love fairy tale retellings. I love that kind of stuff. And this mixes it with a more sort of a science fiction kind of theme, which is really interesting because I've been getting really into various types of science fiction in the last year. And I cannot wait to check this out. I cannot wait to see what is done with this because it sounds very promising. Anyway, that's it for me. Yeah, I know it sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? But no, I had a fabulous, fabulous holiday, and that was my Christmas edition. And as yet again, many thanks to everyone who did either get me a book or give me money to go book shopping. And many thanks to my parents who helped me pay for the camera I'm using to actually do the video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had an absolutely fantastic Christmas, and I wish you all the best in the new year. Please feel free to let me know what you guys got in your mailboxes. I love watching these videos. I'm always so happy for all of you. And have a great evening. Bye!